Hi, today's video is going to be a totem pole and we're going to look at some original totem poles from Canada and we're going to make our own one out of paper. So you're going to need some coloured pencils, some drawing paper, um, something straight you can draw down like a ruler or the side of a book and a sharpener so that your pencil's nice and sharp. Let's get going. So here's a fantastic totem pole and this one is from the northwest coast. I think it's probably from Canada, made by First Nations people. And they fe always feature an ancestral myth of the family or tribe. So they also have um, a specific animal, an ancestor figure, and a family crest, which is obviously a f often a forest animal. So here at the top, we've got a fabulous eagle. And then further down, that looks like a snake. And what I'd like to draw your attention to is the way that the animals um, fit together. So this man figure He's got someone's feet on his shoulders and he's grasping the body of the snake below. So when you come to draw your picture, try and connect them in the same way so that the, the shapes flow into each other. They're very stylized and graphic, a bit like graffiti. They're made of bold shapes and um, that's something to bear in mind. So you'll be having thicker and thinner shapes, patches of colour. And here's the one at the bottom again. Uh, so let's get going. So if you look at this one, you can see that it's symmetrical. So if you drew a line down the centre, it's the same, both sides. So what I've done is I've divided my box, I've made, divided my paper into boxes, and then I've drawn a faint line down the middle. And then you can see with this one, you can see the line there. I want this character, I've done this character here. Now when I did it first, I just did a thin line, and then I went back over and I thought, some of this I'm going to make very, very dark. I'm going to make a thick line like this, I'm going to emphasise it. And I'm also using the colour palette that they use, so um, ochre, red, black, white, I think there's some blue. So quite a simple range of pencils which I, I got ready to start with, okay? And so if I wanted to do another one I might do a big eye like this. I'm not really thinking too much, I think maybe this one's going to be a frog, like this. Sort of a frog face, like that. So I'm just drawing it simply first and then I might have some big frog hands reaching down. Now you could do this on separate bits of paper and you could join them together. So think about what animals you like, maybe draw some pictures first and then divide your page up and stylize them like a cartoon. And then afterwards fill in with some colour. So let's take one more look at the original reference and you can see my strip here. And if I want to, I can do another whole one. I've got another strip here. I can make a whole, another whole strip and just join it. And I can keep on making a really tall totem pole. And you can put wings on. You can think about the animals that are specific to North America. Bears and snakes, cougars, polar bears, all sorts. You could do some research on that. Or you could just make up your own to do with the animals that you like. And I hope you have lots of fun.